G'day guys, welcome back. How are you all? I'm gonna have another little play with the um, 3D flower. I've got 30 grams in there in the cup, one ounce, and I'm gonna put seven drops of the cast and craft in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A little more than I would normally do, but I want to try it out, see if it'll handle having a little bit more. Now, in the cup, it's deeper, so it's getting warmer. I've just taken its temperature, and it's hotter than what's in there. Oi, stop it, you guys. So, yeah, it's hotter than, what, than what's in there. I should probably, um, I don't know, maybe not pour it into the cup, because it's deep in there now, but anyway. Anyway, 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 we shall see. Um, I'm using the Platinum Ultra Clear. I have got 85 grams of A and 40 grams of B. Now for my center, I've got these little, they look like, um, what are those spiky things under the sea? Poisonous things, <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> but anyway, they're just plain black and they've got a tiny little hole in the middle. So I thought I would just stick, if I can pick it up, stick one piece of glitter into the middle like that. And it's just this silver and black glitter, which I'm going to use as the background if it works. So let's put that face down. And poke him down. There we go. So that's just the little black star thing with the... Um, silver piece of glitter on to make it look pretty. There's a few little bubbles popping up, so I'll give it a torch. Rightio. Now let's do the, put the white in here in my little piping bag. And I am waiting. It's coming up to 40 minutes. I was going to try and wait a little bit longer with this one. You know how the last video the, uh, one a little while ago I did 35 minutes then I waited 40 minutes and then I said to you I'm going to wait 45 minutes this is the 45 minute one so I've still got 5 minutes to go though so I might put you on pause while I just wait and hopefully this won't get too hot but I'm going to keep an eye on it and if it feels as if it's getting too hot I'll start just sit there for a minute. Let's take this one's temperature. I'll do it this way so that you can see. Hopefully you can see. It's in Celsius or centigrade. Forty. Forty two. When it was in its bowl, it was about 50 degrees, but then when I poured it in here, it went a lot cooler because, you know, it's got more open space that it's touching the cool air, I guess. 43 and a half, but it's the white that I'm worried about because it was in the cup, so it was deeper. You know, if you've got it in a shallow basin, it's 43 and a half, it's not going up any further, but I can't test the white now because it's in there. So, I'll just wipe that off. That's alright. I thought maybe it was just getting too hot, but it's not. So, I'll just keep an eye on this one. Actually, what about if I kind of push it down so it's a bit layered, a bit flatter, hey? I wonder if that'll work. Let's try that. Right, I'm going to come back to you in about four minutes. I'll, put you, oh, I'll leave my gloves on. I'll put you on hold. All right, be back in four minutes. Okay, I'm back. Got one minute to go. So by the time I've snipped the top off, we'll be right. It's it's still okay. I actually stuck the probe in there, <laughs> and it was 49 and a half degrees. So it's um yeah, it seems to be cooling down. So let's hope that it still will work. So I think anything sort of up to 50 degrees is, is pretty good. Right, let's snip that off. Mm, we've got about, oops, that's a bit small, not getting enough out. 
and obviously the longer you wait the thicker uh, the you know the thicker your resin gets so you may need a slightly bigger hole for things to come out okay I just started off small right so I'm going to try with my little design I want to see if I can do one two three like that smaller one there getting bigger there hopefully I don't know because I've done lots of petals let's try something new hey all right tuck that in let's do this one two three oh, I should have used my turntable would have been much easier one two three this one's thicker than that one I don't think that one's thick enough one two Oh, I dripped. All right, let's see if I can do this backwards. One, two, three. Oh, that seems, seems to work. That one's not, that one's a bit thin, that one. I probably wasn't squeezing hard enough. One, two, three. I'm trying to like fill up as much space as I can. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't want big gaps between them. One, two, three. One, two, three. How many more? Two? Hopefully I can fit in two more, I think. Yep. One, two, three. Lucky last. One, two, three. I kind of feel as if I want to put a little bit more on this one. I don't know if I can. Because it's quite thin. There we go. Alright, now it kind of looks like the others. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to just... I'm going to put some white in the middle so that we've got a, a background there and then I'm going to actually I just want to do a swirl <laughs> oops I'm a bit of, oh my swirl's off center there we go there we go all right now let's torch clean my hands let's torch hopefully I haven't left it too long a little bit of heat all the way around and push, 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 push. Which one did I start with? Alright, is that enough? I never know how much to heat. I really don't. I don't know if it's going to work. Oops. I'm going to go again with the, the pushing in the middle. Mm, no, let's leave it. Starting to move a little bit, so we'll leave it at that. I've got a little bit left. I probably didn't need 30 grams. Alright, um, let me just throw this in the bin. Um, get you down for a close up. These ones here are moving more than those. So I don't, I don't know whether like these have had more heat and they're moving better or these have had more heat. I'm just going to leave it. I mean, they are moving, but I'm just going to leave it now because I tend to be, I tend to overheat, I think. And um, I don't want to like break the petals. 
if you can call them petals. But you can see they're starting to, they are starting to close up. And that one there that I added more, it's not doing as much. I hope it'll be all right. But you see these ones down here, these ones here are blooming more than up there. So I don't know. Do you guys know, like, does more heat make them bloom faster or more heat make them not bloom as fast? I don't know. I'm, I'm still experimenting. All right, we'll come back in half an hour and uh, and see what's happened. I, I would like it to have some negative space. You know how you can't see through everywhere? Although, oh, that's closing up already, isn't it? <laughs> Although we should have quite big gaps um, around the top, which would be nice. I'm going to put some, um, where is it? I'm going to put some black and silver glitter on the background. All right, see you soon. We'll see what it looks like. Right, shall we have a little look? See what it's doing. I don't think it's been half an hour yet, but. Ooh, it looks curly whirly. And I've got lots of negative space. Yay! Which means when I put my background on, you'll be able to um, see a lot of the black and silver. They've all bloomed, they've all been pulled down. You can see that. Look at that. Ooh! I just hope it's not going to be um, blobby. We shall see. All right, well, I've got to go and put my lights up on my Christmas tree and uh, make some more molds. <laughs> Woman's work is never done, hey? <laughs> All right, I'll see you soon for the top coat. Righto, I am back. Got my Christmas tree up. She's a big one. She's a 10 footer. Got my lights up. And uh, tomorrow, all the family's coming over in the morning and we'll put some Christmas carols on and we'll decorate the tree and we'll eat some shortbread that Christy and I made today. And uh, we're going to have some dips and cob loaf and I also made um, hedgehog slice. So yeah, lots of, and we've got caramel fudge, all kinds of goodies. So that's happening tomorrow morning. Very exciting. So I don't think I'll be able to do a pour of any kind tomorrow morning. I have to make some more moulds as well. So <clears throat> I do have a couple of videos put aside. I'm just going to put some black in there. This is Lorez Black Pearl. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I've got a couple of these um, sort of flower videos that I've done that I can put up. I've always got something in the background, you know, in case I don't have time or I have to work. Um, I can't do a, a pour for you, either resin or acrylic. Um, and then I should have something to upload. Now I don't want to make that too opaque, but I want to see what it looks like with the glitter in. This is Derice, super chunky, and it's the um, black and silver mix. So we'll pour some in there. I don't know how much to put in. I don't like putting too much in. They're expensive. And then I never know whether or not you're going to actually see the silver or whether it's going to get just covered up by black. Not sure. The glitter tends to sink anyway. So it probably will be more on the, the underside. Look at that. So we've got a little bit of colour. I think that'll be alright. I just don't want to make it too opaque. Mm, I don't know. But then I did one the other day and it was not opaque enough. Let's try that. That should be enough. That'll be enough, I think. Get the lid on. Right. So when I look at this, I can see a few blobbies, 
but I think that might just be, um, you know, where the, the edge of the petal is, where each edge is when there is a little bit of a, a blob, but I think that's just because that's how it is. You know, there's, there's a line, like a petal, and then that petal gets pulled through or blooms, so you, you tend to have this thicker edge, don't you? And it's in there as well. But I don't know, we won't know until um, we unmold it tomorrow what it actually looks like. So, oh, I don't know. Hope you're not getting sick of my 3D blooms, are you? I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to perfect it. And I'm the sort of person where I want to keep going and going and going until I can go, yep, okay, got it. And doing one is totally different to doing a set of four because I have to make up more resin to do a set of four. Um, and then when I make up more resin, I'm just going to put that in slowly in case I don't need it all. I probably don't need it all. That's what I did last time. I made up too much. Um, yeah, just um, a set of four would take a lot more resin. Um, and then all my calculations are out, my timing's out because the resin is much thicker in the bowl. So then I kind of have to start again. Oh, um, my torch is in the other room. But anyway, I'll, I'll torch. And um, maybe I can blow on it. Pop the bubbles. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll see you guys in the morning. I'll do this before the kids come over and we decorate the tree. So I'll see you then. All right. See ya. All righty. Let's do this. Bright and early on a Sunday morning. Get this unmolded and then wait for the kids to arrive. So um, well, look, we've had some um, glitter come up to the the top there. So I wonder what it's going to do on the other side. Whether it's just going to be all glitter, or whether we'll actually have some some black. Not sure. Out you come. Come on. There we go. Hope it works, hope it works, hope it works. I think I'm getting close. I'm still not getting like a really 3D look, like it's quite flat. So, I don't know, maybe I need to try another resin. I mean, I'm happy with them, but it's just, I'm not getting the exact 3D look that I'm after. Have a little peek. What can we see in there? Mm, so this might have a few little blobbies. Hey, remember I did the circles like that? So, yeah, it did look as if it, it had a few. Anyway, without further ado, shut up, woman, and let's get this done. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, my gosh. Wow, look at that. We call this one the curly whirly. <laughs> there are a few little blobbies. Um, but overall, it's probably as close to the proper 3D effect that that I've had. So if you have a look up here, you can see the line where I piped and then it's pulled through and made that that bloom. But where I've stopped there, because I kind of went around like that, and see where I've crossed over? Went around and crossed over. So where I've crossed over, it's had double the amount of paste, so it's got a blob, and then I went round and I stopped. And when I stopped, it dropped an extra blob, so that's what that's from, I guess. Mm, maybe I could try less, like making the hole in my um, piping bag a little bit bigger so that I didn't get so much of a, a blob when I did my crossovers. Same there, went up and around and then I crossed over and left a blob. But um, overall it's not bad. And look, that's where I did my little swirl in the middle. I like that. And my little... Um, piece of glitter in the middle matches nicely and I haven't got too much glitter have I like there is there's a bit of glitter sprinkled around but you can still see that it's a black background so yeah happy with that one <laughs> what do you think do you like it do you like the curly whirly I have another idea that I want to go in like the curly whirly design but I want to go zigzag like that and then um, 
zigzag like that <laughs> so yeah I'll be trying that as well oh, and there's another one I want to try anyway there's lots I want to try so um yeah if you keep if you're enjoying them keep watching hopefully you are and um, I'll go and set this up outside for a little photo shoot and um, I'll be back with the next one soon I'll try and do an acrylic pour for you soon but I have to go to work tomorrow so no pouring today no pouring tomorrow so um, but I'll see you real soon thanks for watching guys Bye for now.